Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Azure. Last time we finished up everything that we needed to do in Chapter 3, Day 1, and we also finished up all the um, three Imperial Fishing Club people that we can go ahead and defeat at this point. So we also went ahead and defeated the, um, the cryptids. Yeah, we defeated one the other day, but now we defeated the second one. And upon defeating the second one, we realized that the spatial distortion was still there. So we looked around, we examined some things, and we found out that the spatial distortion seems to be caused by um, these azure flowers that are blooming right around where the cryptids are. So we picked the flower, and then Wazzy had an idea that, hey, you know, I've seen this flower before um, in like the testaments you know in their version of the bible essentially so we decided let's go over to the church and let's ask some of our friends about this situation hey there maybe he could tell us about the uh, azure flower yeah mm, not quite Okay. Well, we don't really need that. We just got, we need somebody who's knowledgeable with the testaments. Well, that is true. Okay. And then the game goes as slow as humanly possible as he moses on back to his office as if you didn't already know where his office was. Okay. Huh. Now Wazzy doesn't have really anything to say. Yeah, he was here, actually. Um, he was here writing out the new state constitution for whenever Crossbow declares his independence. I'm going ahead and talking to these NPCs right now because they have different dialogue here at the church than they did previously at the, um, or during the NPC dialogue video. Since now it's like a different time period or something. I guess it's like, you know, evening. <clears throat> okay, so let's just be on our way, head on inside of here, and talk to the guy, and let's move this story along. These aren't just any monsters. These are some crazy monsters here. Oh uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. They're not glowing anymore, but they'll do. Whoa! You know what they are? He seems rather shocked. Oh. Really? Seriously? You're lying through your teeth! Oh, come on now. Seriously, just tell us. <laughs> no one tells us anything. Oh, really? Yeah. We couldn't possibly ask her. Yeah, I already know that she doesn't know anything either. I'm sure. Yeah, it's really obvious that you know exactly what this is and that Marble knows exactly what this is as well, but you're not going to let Marble tell us what this is. And you're definitely not going to tell us what this is either. Ugh, <sighs> I already do. I think extraordinarily ill of you. Uh, well that's no good. I mean, it's obviously something important, but he just doesn't want to tell us what it is. Yeah, that's true. He didn't feel guilty about not telling us anything at all. Yeah, he didn't want to tell us anything because he wanted to protect us, I assume. Oh. Yeah, I agree with Wazzy. I really want to know what's going on. 
Um, no. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That would take forever. Oh, and who are you? Oh, hey, it's Reese. Oh, maybe Reese knows exactly what this is. She is a member of the Gauls Ritter, after all. Yeah. She's not, like, a full Gauls Ritter knight or anything like Kevin is. Um, but she's a squire. She'll do. She must know something. Anyway, let's just, uh, go on over here and talk to her. If you try to leave at this point, you can't leave the church. Lloyd will say something like, we can't leave Reese waiting. We actually get to go inside this dorm? I think this is the first time we get to see in here. I don't believe that we ever went in here in Zero. Oh, this is nice. It's just a small little room. It works. I like it. I approve. Well then, what is it? Do you know what it is? Oh, well, yeah, we know that. Oh, it's part of the Apocrypha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a non-canonical text. Oh, okay. Well, perfect. Wait, hold on. So if members of the Gauls Ritter are able to read them, then does that mean that Wazzy's a member of the Gauls Ritter? If nobody else can? And Ellie said that she remembers something about it too. Is Ellie a member of the Gauls Ritter as well? How could they have gotten access to the Apocrypha if only members of the Gauls Ritter or people really high up in the church are able to actually read it? Hmm. Faroma? Wait, I've heard that term before somewhere. I can't really put my finger on it, but apparently they've heard of it before. Oh, okay, that's where I've heard of it. So that's an that's a, uh, ingredient for Gnosis. Yeah, okay. I knew I'd heard that term before somewhere. Really? Why would there be very little investigation into Gunter? You would think that that would be like all you guys would be doing would be investigating him. That's a pretty good question there, Noel. Okay. Oh, yeah, that would be nice to let everybody be on the same page. And we'll do our best. We'll just say that someone in the church told us, I guess. Oh. Sure, that sounds really good. I really wish that Reese would join our party. I miss all of her crafts. I miss her cool sword, too. I really like that. We only got to see it once in this game so far. Maybe we'll get to see it later. We'll see. Okay. For once, we don't have to see scenes that regurgitate information that we already know over and over and over again. We just get to... <laughs> the hell? And who are you? Wait. I think I know who this is. Yeah, it was that voice. It was that laughing voice. And he's after some guy. I think I know exactly who that is. This is just a guess. But I'm gonna guess that that was Wazzy. Or not Wazzy. What's his name? Wald. Wald. Yeah. 
I think that was Wald. Remember that his, um, his gang members and all that, like, they can't find him, they don't know where he is? And he's after that guy. And that voice, that laugh. I know I've heard that laugh somewhere before, and that sounded just like Wald's laugh. What's he doing? Is it, like, mutated or something? Like, what the hell was that? Is he taking the Gnosis drug? Oh my god, is Wald taking the Gnosis drug? Oh my god, I can't stand it. Oh, I can't stand it. Hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe it was Campanella or something, but I kind of doubt that. But I really do think it was Wald. Okay. So what do you want us to do? Crisis management. Yeah. Just wander around, talk to people, do various random quests, and then kill some cryptids. Oh, I guess we could help the bracers. Is Ario still not working? Yeah, are you alright? Oh, the Rosenberg Studio! We haven't been there in ages. Yeah. That is a good idea. Oh. Okay, well now we actually do have some business. I agree. I agree as well, Tio. <laughs> Okay. Um, more than likely, we should probably do that last, because it's the most important thing to do. So, of course, we wait until the very last second to do it. Um, no? Yeah, well, what's going on, Kia? Oh, oh, that's sweet of you. You're so kind. Seriously? She walked to the hospital on her own yesterday, all the way to the hospital. Well, I guess she probably took the bus, but you guys are concerned about her going grocery shopping now from her friend's house? One zone over on West Street? Like, that's what your concern is? You can go to the hospital, that's perfectly fine, I don't really care, but grocery shopping? Hell no! Like. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> really? Seriously? You guys are really going on for a long time about making sure that Kia is fine grocery shopping. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to your uh, Eastern Hot Pot. And let's check out what kind of quests we have going on here. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see. Oh, 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 Capua! Oh, cool! Maybe Josette will be there. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to see her, even though I hate Josette. It would still be nice, though. Oh. I wonder if we actually will get to go to Mishalom again. That'd be kind of cool. kind of doubt it, but it'll be nice. Really? Seriously? There's nothing wrong with this traitor! What is your problem? He's an upstanding guy. He's trying to help out the village. You have issues. And then there's some wanted monster as well. You know what? Let's actually, um, report requests. Okay, perfect. Um, that ingenuity quartz is kind of nice. Basically, you equipped it, and as you're walking, your EP gets restored. So, yeah, that might be nice on somebody like Tia if you're using her for attack spells or whatever. Not that I really use that many attack spells, I pretty much save them for bosses, but it's nice to have. 
It is a second level quartz though, so you're going to need to have, you know, your slot open, um, you know, the second level. I have only the very first slot uh, for each person open up to that second level, but yeah, here it is. So, yeah, if you want to equip that, you can. I'm not really going to right now, but it's something to keep in mind. Now, at this point, if we go inside of Lloyd's room and you've gotten all the room decorations, we get a little special scene. He's putting up his little punching bag here. Yeah, then you're gonna have to go in and out, in and out, in and out, so that he can decorate his room. I guess he put up that airplane there. Oh. Oh, well, at least you get to relax. Thought you were grocery shopping. What are you doing? Aren't you busy? <laughs> yeah, this will happen anytime. So, it just, it is what it is. They just put people in here. Lloyd seems really interested in fitness. I mean, with the punching bag and the dumbbells and all that, you would think that those things would be like in Randy's room. That airplane's pretty cool. I like it. I approve. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. So airships are real and airplanes are fake. Gotcha. Wasn't there an airplane, though, in, um, what was it? Um, that minigame with the third, with the Capua Express minigame, like with Josette and all that? Or were those two airships? I kind of think that one of them was an airplane. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I like Lloyd's boombox. That thing's huge. Who calls that a sandbag? It's a punching bag. No one calls it a sandbag. Sandbags are stuff that you use to control flooding. Eh, whatever. Well, yeah, she's getting exposed to more things in the real world, and we're telling her about it, so of course she's getting smarter, and she's going to school. <laughs> I think that she's fine. She's stronger than she looks, isn't she? Oh. figured I'd show that off. It doesn't really matter if you collect Lloyd's furniture or not, as far as bonding events are concerned, but it's cool to get the little scene. We've also collected all of Kia's furniture at this point, so let's go inside of her room and decorate it as well. Sure, so now we get our little special scene. Yeah, it looks nice. I like it. 
What is it? What's wrong? Oh, it's not a plushie. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> Are you going to get inside then? The little Zway penguin? Oh, yeah, I've actually been in one of those before. I worked at Barnes & Noble and I had to dress up as Winnie the Pooh one time uh, for like a story time. I didn't have to read the book or anything because you really can't read anything whenever you're inside those suits. All I had to do was kind of stand there while, while my manager read the book and I just kind of waved. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't all that fun and it was hot as anything too. Oh, well, that's good. Oh my god, she's so cute! <laughs> Seriously, she's adorable! Yeah! Oh my god, I could just scream. She's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nothing. Um, but you're gonna get kind of overwhelmed by cuteness in just a second. Catch a break, Kenny. Oh, poor Kia, or Kia Penguin, as we should call her. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, man, Lloyd, you should probably just leave. Poor Kia. Yeah, she can't even breathe or anything. The women folk. <laughs> A rule banning her? Oh no! Oh, whatever. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go up and feed the cat. Before I forget, we actually have those legendary fish that we caught. Remember those? Uh, let's see. The, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's start here with this emerald. That will give you the scent quartz, which will make enemies come towards you. I do not want that. That would be awful. <clears throat> the crimson eater gives you the dragon eye quartz, which every time that you defeat an enemy, it will automatically analyze the enemy so you can see it in your monster notebook. But what I want is from the tiger rock eater, we're going to get the mighty intimidation quartz, which will make enemies run away from you on the field. Yeah. I like it when I don't have to fight. That will make it really nice. And next time, all those big legend heroes, Trails of Azure, we're gonna go around, talk to various people, and start on some of our side quests. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.